Wasps are bad. Nobody likes wasps. But if you live in South Carolina, you might now have to deal with radioactive wasps because a radioactive wasp nest was discovered at a nuclear waste site in South Carolina, which is... I, I didn't even know this was possible. I didn't know they could survive radiation without turning gigantic and becoming mutant or whatever it apparently they have. And they were discovered in storage tanks like this one because in case you didn't know, the US Department of Energy has buried millions of gallons of wartime nuclear waste at a site in South Carolina. It's actually called the Savannah River site. Uh, they have this nice wholesome looking sign. It's like home of the Savannah River National Laboratory. Yay, <laughs> you know, makes it look all wholesome. The contaminated wasp nest was discovered at the facility, which is the Savannah River site on the 3rd of July, near tanks used to store liquid nuclear waste. Like again, these up here. Officials said that the nest was sprayed and disposed of as radiological waste, and that testing confirmed that the radiation levels in the wasp were 10 times greater than the total contamination values that the federal regulations allow for. Now, many scientists out there among you might say, well, if you get bit by a radioactive spider and you become Spider-Man, what happens if you get bit by a radioactive wasp? Do you become wasp man? or maybe wasp man with a suit. I definitely want to be the suit when he's looking very fly. That's very fashionable. I looked, I wish I looked half that good even without the insect head. Uh, but the contaminated wasp nest was considered a result of the on-site legacy radioactive contamination and is currently not considered to be a loss of contamination control, saying that the ground and the affected areas did not have any contamination in them. I think it was more a matter of the wasp building their nest directly on top of the liquid waste storage areas. But what that does mean is that for at least some time in the area, there were radioactive wasps just flying around breeding. This guy looks like he gets to breed a lot. My God, he's dressed well. And creating more of themselves at the Savannah side in South Carolina. So if you live anywhere near this area, uh, I would take wasps a little bit more seriously for the time being.